somewhere a little different around the Yorkshire Dales, me and me. We're heading up to the old gang smelting mills. As you can hear, it's very windy. It is meant to drop off at about 6 pm, down around 10 miles an hour. So it's not going to be too bad. The northeast, further up over, is getting a little bit worse than what this place is. But we've had this sort of in my head for quite a while. So as you can see, following the river up over along this lovely path a nice foot to our place we're both out with new gear which you will be seeing a lot of later in particular two new tents both three season both similar design but very uncommon and you will find that out if you want to go and check them out more in, in more depth video click the link up there or i'll leave a link down there We have never been to this spot before, but to find out my locations, uh, I'll use things such as Google Maps, OS Maps, Google Earth. OS Maps, I do recommend using on a laptop or a computer or a PC, because you can put it in a 3D pan down. Look at the elevations and the hills. So that's the kind of wreck you did. Obviously I hit YouTube. YouTube these days is a very powerful tool from learning to exploring. We all know that ourselves, but we're always into YouTube. For everything in life now so yeah good little recce i knew someone that had been here before and i got a great bit of information so you know who you are thank you to you finding your own spots is what i'm sort of all about as well this place here i found on the map i just dug a bit deeper but it is very rewarding yes a lot of people don't have places to go but you'll find they haven't looked so get out there have a look do your due diligence have a good look around and you will pick up information whether it's from google youtube or whatever and i find it's a better camp knowing that you found a better spot and you get a bit more of a better buzz to be honest with you that's all me and lee have done for a while more so me he just <laughs> lets me do it he has a lot of trust in us to be honest with I'll you i just say you? oh hi mark uh, well you saw you, you find this one and um, i'll find the next one uh, very rarely do i find any <laughs> we'll just share the driver and that's his contribution towards a wild camp <laughs> We just stumbled up on this, the old smelting mill, from what the sign says. See up the top of there, that's opened up with this, where the actual mine is. What it was used for, I don't know, probably some kind of ore. Another entrance there, so yeah. Nice to have a little bit of an urbex, isn't it? Me and Leah just talking about the landscape here, how different it is to the Cheviots and our locals. I think it's just seeing different stuff. Uh, Lee likes it a lot here, don't you? So much more intriguing, say everything's different. You've got the heather, the grass, there's a little bit more nature here. You've got all of the gravel and different pathways and trackways, the old buildings you can look at. Obviously we've not done much in the Yorkshire Dales, but just the small two camps that we have done, I do enjoy it like. The shooting hut that we stumbled upon across, and if I'm right, we need to be up there. Above us. We've got another one here coming up, and there it is. is that it? That's where we're heading. I think it's an old stable block, something like that. Uh, you can't see it from sort of the shapes of it. It's a bit treacherous this path. Medic! Oh, look at that! You love now, and he's gonna take that. I am. <laughs> Catherine would love that, wouldn't you? You're you know Lee, home you know me. his wife. <laughs> and you'll know that's a present. We have arrived and look at this for a pitch. Going all the way through down to that side. The sun is absolutely blaring. So perfect conditions to set up. Lee's got his chosen picture here. So it took him five minutes to pick. And oh, I, <laughs> it's not level. And I'm gonna be over that area there. Yeah, not bad considering the rest of it down there is pretty bumpy, as you can see. Up there, a little bit flat, but I do want to be here. So let's get these tents set up. My first use, first pitch of this one. Lee's had a little bit of a trial, so you might win on this one. But yeah, let's have a good look at it.
Well, that's sun. My tent's up there without the guy lines, and I must say, I am impressed with it. It's, it's massive. It really is for the weight of a 2.8 kg. And it does not have come out on the sides here at the bottom. Absolutely fantastic. So I've got a couple of guys up on the sides, one down here, and one on the other one, but so far, really impressed. I have got some other bits to do to it yet. So let's get them done. When it's done, I'll give you a good look around this. That's my tent set up just about. So I've got it all guide out. And I must say, I'm liking it a lot more now I've guided out. I'm seeing the full structure of it. Absolutely cracking. I think I'm secretly going to miss being in a two-man tent. We all forget some of us. What's that, Lee? Well, that's me alcohol stove. Me windbreaker, me spoon, me cup, I've got me boil in the bag food, and I haven't got me side tea in the mug. So it looks like I'm making his tea the night, but actually go back, I'm the winner when I've got me sleep pad, but I. Good job there's two of us, eh? So this tent here has got a nice pulled frame, but to make it stronger, you can put a trekking pole in, which comes down <laughs> from the support of it. So there is very similar designs out there of this tent but not like this uh, from Terra Nova anyway. So this does really help. So we'll put this in and it just braces it. We may as well carry them with us all the time. So why not make it stronger? Because you never know what can happen during the night. It's a Panacea 2 by Wild Country Terra Nova. Cracking structure inside. I've got my kit there. The usual stuff inside, but look at the room. And I must say I'm liking the room. The vestibule on this side is the same size as the one on this side. And all I've got in there is my bag. But I'm really liking it, the size of it. It's not as heavy as what I thought, to be honest with you, carrying it, which makes us like it even more. The thing I do like about it is you've got this crossbow on the top. I've never really liked tents with that in. I find there's always no support, but having the trekking poles in adds a lot of strength to it. I've seen a few videos of them already, and yeah, it does make a massive difference, and you can close the door. Because I have seen when you do support structures, that it does pull doors the other way, and they're a bit of a nightmare. It's got... A vent on that side it has a vent on the other side and and one on wait, one on the opposite so it has four vents on it all around it the footprint reminds us of the helm too to be honest with you it's po probably based on it with a better structure and a little bit bigger it's not a saggy inside i like that it is nice and taut it is tensioned well on the ends And it's got a little window there to let some air through. So yeah, I'm really impressed with it. See what it's like tonight. I mean, it's not windy here, but if it does pick up, we'll go through. But it's all guyed out. I'm enjoying it. Lee, he's bought a new tent and some other stuff. So let's have a look at his. He's got the QU, if that's how you pronounce it, the Mountain Star 2 person. Lovely colour mind. So he has a set up for me this evening. Um, I have got a few new bits of gear. Um, so there we have the Alkit pipe um, pipeline, Alkit pipeline pipe 400, dream. Pipe, pipe Dream 400, 600, 600 Pipe Dream 600. Um, down sleeping bag, little upgrade from the snug pack we got there in the end. Um, got the Thermarest X Therm wide. Um, this is just for the back, the free FUL, just from the back of my bag, but it also helps when I'm sitting there. Um, I've got my down gear there, hanging up loft and up inside. 
I put my bag at the bottom this time, just with it being on a bit of a hill, um, it might stop me sliding down. I've got um, my eye mask, I'm one of them. Um, I've got my little shiwi, because I'm sick to death of getting in and out the tent. Um, so I'm looking forward to using that. That's going to be my toilet space. What we got here for Scran, we've got two portions of chili con carne and rice um, and a lovely jam sponge pudding to finish. That's going to be cooked up in the Speedster alcohol stove with Mark's um, hair pot, obviously. Got a couple of Mr. Kiplings, some jellies, a smarty Easter egg, whether it's good luck or not, um, some nice Viennese biscuits and some Saturday chicken for some snacks. Um, maybe I might feel the old skullet. Um, and then my water obviously for cooking and then we've got some of uh, Wallace's period blood um, just so I don't forget that. No man, this is the Kookaburra I believe, Shiraz. Uh, so we've got a bottle of that combined in those packets there just from Aldi. So that's my setup for this evening. Now I'm all set up, I'll give you a show around. So I've got the needle map there. Food wise, got the old tomato and chilli cook kit. Pitman pies, kind of beat that luxury city toffee and custard. A few bits of wine there. Got my little lantern over there, UCO mini candle lantern. Down there, I've got my waterproof jacket, some gloves, bits and bobs. The usual sleep kit of the amazing Alp kit. 800 Alpine Dream head torch, electronics, and the old poop shovel. Over there on that side, there is just some of my bags, and my rucksack is on the other side over there. I've got the down jacket on now, just warming up a little bit. Not really cold, just a little bit, little bit of a chill you get, to be honest with you. you know, the sun's hiding now, it's about to disappear now, anyway. But yeah, not too bad. The, the wind is a lot calmer. Well, what I expected. Absolutely stunning around here. Amazing. The other comfort I've brought with me is a width gear. Tracking seat. 600 grams, light as a feather. Comes in its own little bag, which is here. Great little thing, light. I'm testing a new head torch out from Trustfire. It's a new MC80. It's a torch. And it is also a headlamp, so this is a headlamp as it is. Different modes. That's off. Level one, two, and three, and four. Absolutely cracking. Yeah, handy thing, especially with it being handheld, means we can knock it down a bit and use it on the lower power when needed. We're inside the old tent dingo. <laughs> Lee's invite us in, nice and cosy. Ah, I do miss a two, uh, two person tents. That's glow in the dark, I believe that ram's head, isn't it? Ah, it does yeah, look good, like. Glow in the dark, so don't watch a horror before sleeping on one of these. Get that turned all the way up, get the light on. Get that, how are you? You're not contributing to the light, <laughs> yeah, man. No, I'm contributing to your tea when I'm giving you the pot, though, aren't I? Uh -huh. Aye, I do pot like the man. room in here. I should really bring a foil mat for mine or a double thin one. That's, that's all I like to for because then I, you didn't really want to sit on your no. hand around all the time. I didn't feel the warmth so, like straight away. I so I just sit on there and then obviously when I come to bed you come on here. Alright. Uh, you do the oh, full down come on here. Downy, downy, downy. New sleeping bag mm. test of the night for Lee. Didn't See how he likes it. Robert Downey Jr. for now. Uh, I, I, I must say I do love my Alpkiss sleeping bag. It is lush so Lee will give us a little bit of a review. On here's it's getting down to about minus one tonight. I don't know what it is at the minute. I haven't checked to be honest with you. I need to get me some water out. You've got the downy gloves. You got your down boots with you as well. Why well, yeah, it's all doing there, mate. Yeah. Just getting acquainted with where I put things. I thought what's the point in keeping everything outside? Everything can come in. I've got literally that much room. Could be a sheep in here tonight, no one knows. <laughs> you could, you could be, literally, you could fuck, I could bring the three dogs. It's a storage. I thought you had stuff I in did. there. I did. I had that up there, but it was hit, I was hitting heat on it. Right. I had my tent bag up there, but I was hitting heat on it. But uh, obviously, whenever I can use that, you know what I mean? Did you supply this, or did they supply that? That was already on when it when it come. It could be done with being a bit tighter. Um, no, you want things to hang so the wetness doesn't touch the top, doesn't it? Aye. Uh, 
Yeah, I like but, uh, it. Aye, little gear lock's nice. Um, fit out up there, you know what I mean? Oh yeah. But uh, aye. Deal with cold feet is an absolute nightmare when it comes to the winter. It's always a feet that gets sort of a hold of us. I've been using a lot of stuff lately, merino wool, socks, as always. So what I do is, on a night time, or later on when it gets a bit colder, change it to a fresh pair of merino wool socks, and then usually into me, me uh, down booties which are in there to sleep in. But in the meantime, your feet are getting cold due to your boots. As you can see, it's rubber, and it absorbs all the cold through your feet. So you can use foot warmers and all that kind of thing. Lee's using them tonight. What I'm using are these sheepskin insoles. So 20 mil of wool, my sheepskin base. These are on Amazon, I'll put a link down below. I've got two sets of them for, I think it was 11 pound. And what it's meant to do is, obviously wool does provide a good insulation, but the air pockets around it are meant to warm your feet. So I want to try them on, so I'll get these fresh socks on, put them in, and also leave your boots loose so you can have movement. Last time I was out, I used the down boots with the merino wool socks. Left the boots loose, lovely and warm, and it was down to zero degrees. Sort of similar tonight, so I'll put these in and let you know in the morning what I thought of them. I'll test them on a few camps, but yeah, I've had them in my Crocs and they are lovely. I must say, the size of this tent is very generous. I've sort of missed one, I really have. Like I'm lying here on my foil mat, I've got my big Agnes there, all my kit there. I am missing a butt, and here's a new tent coming soon. Two man tent. Been wanting from for quite a while, to be honest with you. I've been keeping my eyes on it, so it is going to be a nice new purchase. Something with a little bit more room. I do like my one man tents, but it is nice to, to have a little bit of space, isn't it? Do you know what it is? As much as I come away with Lee, Feel like I have to babysit me hard work. You'll, you'll probably hear him quite a bit in these videos. Yeah, he's laughing there. Absolutely, he's a night. He's a nightmare to be honest with you. Uh, if it's not me for getting something at him. Never again. Never. I uh, never again. Mark Wheatley, you know that saying. So anyway, let's get some tea on. I've got my pod back, so I'm gonna starve Lee, and I'm gonna get my scran on. If you're from my local area, you will know about Pitman Pies. Absolutely beautiful them. Try and get them for the lads all the time when we go away. And another thank you to Ryan Goldsborough, aka Slug, on the red wine. I brought a bottle of that, so that's half a bottle. The other half's down there. Big thank you for him for supplying that. Nice little trade deal on some shooting stuff. Well, that's tea ready. That's me with nightwear now. I've got my down boots on, base layer, montane, same with the pants. Just been checking the temperature, so that is the thermometer I use. I've got quite a few of them. I've got them in my garage for my diesel heater. I've got two for camping. Uh, really good. Just don't leave them in the rain. They do take a little bit of rain, but I don't recommend it. But I use it all the time just to know whether the equipment's adequate enough. Um, there's a link in the description for it. Here is an app, it's called Sensor Blue. Here's various ones you get, but I do like this. And that's how mine displays, just like that. So you can see the temperature's six degrees, bringing it in, and then it loads up and goes through a logger stage. So it'll log the temperature of when it's last been turned on, or shall I say when you put a battery in. So that'll go through there and it'll give us a reading of what it should be right now. So that'll go through there and it'll give us a reading of the temperature now and it'll also show us what it has been like it's every 10 minutes. So as you can see, there's a little bit of a scale there on the temperature wise and you can see it's at a maximum of 14, which was today and it gives you the times and the intervals that goes through. You can turn it sideways and look at it that way too. We also have humidity on there so you can go through and check all that. We do go to the point, it has got a dew point as well on the front screen, so they are very handy. I do recommend them. I use it on every camp, just I want to know if I was cold, why. 
got my anemometer, which measures me wind chill. So I'll also go on that. But yeah, I, I swear by them. I give a lot of them to my friends and things like that. Lee's got one. The Stew's got one. Jimmy Garage has got one. They're very handy, so I recommend them. I can get two for about ten pound, eleven pound on Amazon. Depends. They go up and down. But if you get two, happy days. You'll enjoy them. Yeah. I recommend them. Batteries last around nine months, and the batteries are a bit of a strange size too. But yeah, cracking. Lee has decided to join us, so we're just going through a few pictures. He's been taken outside. Got me dessert on there. I'm snacking on a bag of crisps. And yet again, I've said it before and I'll say it again, I'm really enjoying the space in here. Lee's had this for a long time and I haven't. And I do like the one man for the strength, don't get us wrong, but I've missed this so much. Just I've put my foil mat here, I've got my bed there. It's just comfort. And I know they do offer a lot of strength, but yeah. There's a two man ten coming, don't you worry about that. Oh aye. Some good pictures out of here. Oh, I like that one better. That's for the sky. Oh, I look weird. That one's the boy. Ah, I like the sky there. We all <laughs> love a good picture, don't we? It does speak a, a thousand words. Well, we're going to have a bit of a natter one, a catch up on YouTube. And I'll tell you who we're watching. We're going to be watching this guy who you all know. Bruce Forsyth. Uh, <laughs> English woodsman. So we're gonna have a little watch of him. Oh, watch English woodsman. Yeah, we're gonna have I a little watch. Watch a few of his. Watch of him. See what he's been up to. Over the last couple of months to my channel, it's been amazing. We've cleaned at eighty thousand so to go there for a week to explore and take photos because it'd be different to you. That is also true of where you. We're just out now, having a look about, seeing what the skies are doing. It's cloudy, as predicted. It's always nice to see. I get some pictures of the tents, but the wind direction's changed slightly. <laughs> so me and Lee are talking about moving the tent armor. Well, we are moving tents just because of Lee's gap under there. Uh, it's got like a, it's like a two season in and like a one season sort of in it. So it's very, very breezy and just wants to try and reduce that quite a bit. So we're going to move it, Lee or not? Aye. For what it is, it's freestanding. It's a lot easier when it's freestanding. So we'll give it a twist. We're going to put his foot end here in this direction here because the wind's chasing up that way originally it was coming this way that's Lee's tent move now see with the wind coming through it's sitting a lot better it's pushing against this panel down here Lee's just putting the poles in it's made a massive difference to be honest hasn't it billion million look at that much better yeah it's actually provided a little bit of a flatter pitch as well so it has pitched better got a little bit of wind coming through it wasn't really forecast for it but there's a bit of wind coming in the morning, so we may as well batten down the hatches as you say, Lee. <laughs> so that wind picking up a bit, I want to do some small adjustments of mine. I want to make sure the pole on this side is fully up. I've got the twisty poles. Good poles, but not really what you should be having in a tent. I guess you should be having the ones that click uh, and lock, as should I say, when they go up and down. So I'll make sure that's all right, but overall, standing all right. I'm currently chilling on my little seat here, hiding from the little breeze. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Are you looking for a seat? Aye. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm chilling on my little seat here. Wait, there's a there's a perfect one there for you that will fit up your Aye. I think he's jealous he didn't bring one. I brought a sip bag. I swear I just wanted to tell you a story about uh, little bit of people who lost their sheep. <laughs> that wasn't meant to be what was uh, going to be said, but we're just sheltering from the wind here. The windier? Ah, uh, the windier, the windier. <laughs> what can, what I, like I, saying like? I, see, I feel like saying fantastic when I do that, that's Simon that for you. Yonder Mountain Adventures, go and check him out. Loves his, uh, I'm trying to... Prescription nature. Prescription nature, bit of woodland, for a while camping and cooking, especially in the hot tents lately, so I go and check him out. Right, it's not bad down here, Tari, to be honest, isn't it? Uh -huh. Nice, just nice a prescription nature. It, it certainly is, and we all need it. Get away from my hustle and bustle. Get away from everything, to be honest with you. <laughs> it is, isn't it? It's like I'm drinking a fucking lamb's bladder or something, lamb's liver. Well, after a little bit of a natter one, I'm back on my pit. 
all sorted and lovely and warm the sunrise in the morning is in that direction so we'll be up at 7 a.m i have tried capturing uh, some stars tonight but the clouds are pushing over that fast it's, it's hard to get some there's, there's that much cloud up there as well so hopefully you get a nice sunrise in the morning so far it's all right we'll just get the odd strong gusts i'm gonna get my head down and let's see what the morning brings good morning not that bad of a night to be honest with you a few little bits of wind about 12 o'clock and then we've just literally had a gust there so yeah the odd road oh, the odd rogue wind come through and that was it it was lovely and warm nice and calm apart from what's been all right not a drip of condensation or anything nice little bit of a breeze just picked it all away lee said the same not a drip in his with the with the breeze so yeah we're up no sunrise to be honest with you cloudy that's calm temperatures got down to 2.8 it's currently sitting at like five degrees at the moment it's not that bad so i want to get myself up get myself a hot chocolate get myself outside good morning lee good morning chaps room service for lee obviously he did forget his pot as you all know so <laughs> i've had to boil the kettle from this morning and he's asked for room service he's got a posh weekend away Danny, right there you go. Yeah, I'll Looks... come right. Didn't need one to cover a bit on you had all my bottle. <laughs> so, first night. How was the gusts anyway for you? I would love to know what it was, what the actual wind was, but it was uh, it was a bit shaky, wasn't it? But um, uh, It was just the old rogue one, it was kind of strong when they come through. Aye. I've got a couple of videos on my phone, but once we, uh, once we whacked these on, I was pretty confident in the tent, to be honest. Rock yeah. solid. That seems to be pulled out pretty tall to be honest with you on them door sections there. <coughs> Happy right. days. Nice and warm. Enjoyed the quilt. <laughs> Keeps calling a sleeping bag a quilt. But he's just tried it as a quilt and he loves it because he's got the Thermarest X there which is at all value pretty high isn't it? Seven, isn't Seven it? or something. Like that, so. Not a bad night. Yeah. See it's a bit dull anyway. The, the sun's up somewhere hiding away. We're literally just gonna have a little, little bit of breakfast and a hot drink and then so it's probably just a slow pack down and enjoy it. Everyone in the northeast and probably the UK now watches the Blot Outdoor Show. <laughs> Bonnie Lads on Tour, if you didn't know that's what it stands for. And is it just me, but I know a lot of other people do it. We'll all see the quotes <laughs> from Blot Outdoor Show and it's in your head all the time and yesterday when we were doing a uh, little bit of video and I could hear him, it was in him. But he wasn't saying it, and now he's saying the old... Everything. The old ram sexual. Everything goes on the show. <laughs> are you one of them? If you are, put them in the comments. It just seems to be getting put in with everything. I was up with Chibi Outdoors, Dave, and uh, <coughs> Bob, and there you were saying it as well. <laughs> Everyone's got something to say. You know what it is? You go out, you go out your way to help people out. He's complaining that there's a, oh, there's a bit of grass in there. A bit of big chunk of moss? I know, I've boiled, oh, I've boiled it now, my wee. That's all right, I'm not herbal tea. I've opened the front of my tent up now. I didn't yesterday, so this is what mine looks like with the front end open. Very similar to Lee's, to be honest with you. With his back end open. With his back, high, back end open. <laughs> he hasn't got his other one up. But aye, really nice. Obviously, you don't need the pole in. It's just for extra support when you do take it out. It is fully open. Just like Lee's got his at the moment. Fully open on the front. Lee's is a little bit lower. But overall inside you've noticed a difference. Alright, I like it. It is a tent that's grooming us on this camp. I know why Lee's always liked his two man uh two person tents for. So yeah, two person tent definitely. It's just the room. Definitely. Stu, he said exactly the same. Loves taking his. Means you can get a couple of years in as well. Chill out, have a bit of crack on. <laughs> yeah. I do recommend this, especially with it being bore tight at the floor. You don't get any wind under it. So as you know last night I did have in the sheep wool and sheep skin insoles and they're still out in now. And there we go. And I must admit they are lovely and warm. I do recommend these. My feet have been warm, I haven't had a cold spot on them. So so far so good. I'll continue to test them and use them on my next camps. Right, I'm really happy with these. It's time for us to pack down now. I've let the airbed down, the air's coming up with that. Same with the pillow, so I'll get organised a little bit, get
get the bag from the other side and have a steady pack down. It looks like it's going to rain a little bit, the clouds are very dark so hopefully we do escape that. It's not in the forecast but we'll find out. That's mine empty, all inside. I just need to zip the front door and the outer door and then pack it down. Lee, are you done nearly? Alright, package down. Yeah. So let's get this tent tucked down. All packed up, bag is on the back, everything as so it was, leave no trace as always. I've checked mine, double checked, and leaves them the same as his. It's pretty mossy the ground, so if you stand on a peg, it can disappear. But I've counted mine, I've got me 20. I'm gonna try one now, where I've been, mate. <laughs> 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 yeah, aye, nice and clean. Happy days. So let's head on down. Well, it's been a great camp, really enjoyed it. Enjoyed using the new equipment, Panacea 2. I recommend this. Love the room in it, nice strong tent. Uh, really good with it being bow tight to the floor. So uh, overall, a good camp with some good equipment on my side. One of the best ones for me, like 82 sleep score. I was a little bit edgy with the tent. It was a bit loose with the wind first, but once we moved it, we got it bowed down properly. Um, it worked well. So there's a couple of changes I need to make. My poles are smooth on top, so I'm going to get some little anti-slip robot to go on the top of them, stop it there moving. Um, the side of that. I'm happy. It's been working, isn't it? Man. Brilliant spot. Yeah. Unreal spot. Here's a nice place here. It's just uh, sort of wild camping in history. Uh, it is nice. Just thinking of the, what used to be here and all the old work. Yeah. I enjoyed it. But as always, see you on the next one. Like a breeze.